Hi! Welcome back to Channel 6 News with your host, Bob Poops. Yeah, that's right. You like me? And we're reporting today a historical event that has nothing to do with America. Surprisingly. It has to do with the French. French Revolution. There you go. Now, today what we're going to talking about is the French Revolution and stuff so as you can see I was kicked out actually I was fired but I'm still gonna report on the news all right so cool anyway um yeah okay the reason I'm reporting on the French Revolution is because it's French Friday. That's right. That's a real national holiday. I don't know why. Let's head into the news. Oh. It was the 1700s, the late 1700s. There was unrest between three estates, the first and the second against the third. The third estate was where the rich people lived. Think about, if you think about it, Donald Trump, Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, Snooki, they will all live there because they're horrible people. And the third estate was where the poor lived. So, basically us living now uh, so yeah there was unrest uh, the rich they had to pay no taxes and the poor well they had to pay all the taxes cuz 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 I guess they weren't cool enough so yeah that's 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 one of the reasons the French Revolution became something because there was so much uh, bad blood between the third estate and the first and the first and the second estate because the poor had to pay taxes they barely had any money for themselves like what the hell is wrong with people man you understand this I mean look I mean come on that's this is crazy man all right I'm gonna ask excuse me excuse me you right there yes you how do you feel about the poor paying for taxes you suck you heard it here folks she thinks she thinks it's horrible on on to the next segment two idiots known to be part of the cause of the French Revolution was King Louis and Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette would waste money on gambling and dresses, sort of like someone else that we know. Out if you're gonna continue to laugh and make fun of me, you're tired of it. If you know how I feel, why would you say that? Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like you know I'm not happy. You know King Louis borrowed loads of money to help in the American Revolution against Great Britain. Well, that sucked. Alright, so I'm doing some interviews and we're gonna try to get some interviews with some really nice people. Let's go. Okay, so uh, can you tell us anything that you know about the French Revolution, like little known facts? I don't know anything about the French Revolution. You don't? Right. No. Uh, well, do you know about uh, the Steel Day? And about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know about that. That's the. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I'll, I'll skip this because we might have to go, man. All right. We might have to go. We need to, First, need to free. We need to legally hear you say that it's okay to film. Uh, how do you feel about the French Revolution? Huh? <laughs> 
How you, how you feel about the French Revolution? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are your thoughts uh, on the French Revolution? That it was. I mean. Okay. Thank that you. That it was necessary. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. This was a very nice interview. Hi, Hi how are you? Good, and you? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. All right. What's your name? Uh, Caesar. Caesar, okay. Yeah. Hi, Caesar. I'm Sergeant Nixon. All right. Nice to I meet you. <laughs> so, uh. What can I help you with? Um. Is it, is it okay? <laughs> is it okay if I film this interview? Sure. Why okay. not? Okay, thanks. <laughs> also, uh, what what do you know about the French Revolution? What do I know about the French Revolution? Yeah. Oh man, you like catching me like way kinds off guard right now. I would have to do some. I would have to brush up on it. <laughs> uh, well, like, do you know any known facts? Like little known facts. Hit me with them. Uh, all right. Uh, I, uh, do you know about the Bastille Day? In my defense, Rafa just called me like out of nowhere. It was like, hey, can you do this for me? Oh, he, ain't, he ain't give me no study material, so you get you get the rawness right now. Okay, okay. But do you know about like Bastille Day and all that? Man, I like 100% you're catching me off guard right now. <laughs> I legally say that I can record this. You can record this. Okay, thank you. Uh, what, what do you know about the French Revolution? Um, that it was inspired by American, the American Revolution. Um, no, that's, and, that's, uh, not, that's not true. Yes, it is. No, this is fake. Huh? It's fake. What's fake? The 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 revolution part. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Second question. Uh, what are your thoughts on the French Revolution? Uh, it was going to happen eventually, so. Oh, that's good. So you can predict the future? No, but the so way they were how treated. You, how do you know this? Or... How do you know this? Huh? How do you know this? How do I know this? Yeah, how do you know this? How do you know it was going to happen eventually? Well, I mean, as a small group of people are taking advantage of a big group of people in which they felt, they already felt, um, like they were getting mistreated, so they were eventually gonna do something about it. Uh, can I leg legally record this? What? The, the what interview. Who says that? Just record. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. Record. Okay. Okay. Uh, what What Wait, do you know about the French people? Revolution? The French. Okay. There was a guy named Napoleon Dynamite okay. that basically ruled France from some time to some time. I don't know when. I was born in 1998, so I don't know what year he ruled. <laughs> All right, uh, next question. What are your thoughts on the French Revolution? It's horrible. I don't like revolution. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Hey, I'm going to ask you about the French Revolution. Is that okay? Yeah, I don't know much, but... That's okay. All right. Is it? Okay, I'm going to record this. Is that all right? If you want. <laughs> all right, I need you to legally say that it's okay. No, that's not okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going with it. All right. Uh, what What do you know about the French Revolution? Nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, next question. What are your thoughts on the re French Revolution? Nothing. Nothing? That's, that's your final answer? Nah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, third, third, quest third question. What's your what's your social security number? Sir, I do not associate with Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you.
I need you to legally say that it's okay for me to record this. Uh, it is legally okay for me to record this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, what do you know about the French Revolution? <clears throat> well, what I know about the French Revolution is that... Uh, Okay, thank you for your time. Uh, wait, next question. Uh, what are your thoughts on the French Revolution? It was pretty cool. Thank you. You're a very uh, lovely man. Is this Jesus? Is this Mr. Rivera? Yes. Jenny Rivera is his brother? Can yes. you legally say that it's okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Alright, first question. Uh, what do you know? What do you know about the French Revolution? don't know anything about it uh, okay next question uh, what are your thoughts on the French Revolution well I don't have enough um, contact or understanding about what it was so I don't really know what to think about it okay thank you for your time uh, appreciate it you get a high five <laughs> Alright, so, uh, the steel day, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, uh, there was these soldiers that went to the prison to Bastille, because there was weapons in Bastille, and there was only like seven prisoners in Bastille, so like, they went, they went to get the weapons from Bastille, and uh, like at least, uh, one defender of the Bastille prison died, and then a bunch of people died, and, uh, yeah, that's it. It's pretty sad, I guess. Okay, here's a dramatic re reenactment. Because I'm having a good time, having a good time. A shooting star leaping through the sky like a tiger. So, uh, yeah, this, this is my interview. So this, this was fun. Um, so this is... I'm gonna solve this Rubik's Cube. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm about poops. <laughs>